Hi, I'm Picky Apricot Steve Andrews, and I'm going to show you how to manage files on your Wild Apricot site. Each Wild Apricot account includes space for you to store your files, pictures, documents, whatever, as well as a built-in file manager to help you organize your files. You can insert your files into, or link to them from, pages, emails, and invoices you create on your Wild Apricot site. Or you can share the link with others by copying its address from your file manager. There are three ways that you can upload files. You can upload files while editing any web page or email by using the image or file buttons on the toolbar. You can upload files using WebDAV. With WebDAV, you can access files stored in your Wild Apricot account as you would files stored on your computer. You can perform all the same actions, drag and drop, rename, delete, that you would on your local files and folders. You can also upload files from the File Management screen. To display the File Management screen, click Files under the Website menu. The screen is divided into a folder pane and a file pane. Selecting a folder within the folder pane will display the files from that folder in the file pane. To change how files are displayed within the file management screen, click the Views drop-down. Using the View options, you can control the size of the file thumbnails or choose to display file details, including file size, instead of thumbnails. To change the order in which files are listed, click a column heading to sort the list using that column. To upload a file from the file management screen, select the folder where you want the file to be stored. You can navigate through subfolders by clicking on the plus sign in the folder pane or by double-clicking on the folder icon in the file pane. Now, click the Browse button and select the folder on your computer or network containing the file. After you select the file and click Open, you can monitor the progress of the upload. To ensure proper service levels to all our clients, your account has an overall file storage limit, as well as a limit on the size of any individual file uploaded. This limit differs based on your billing plan. Once you've uploaded a file to your Wild Apricot account, you can manage the file by right-clicking over it and selecting an option. For example, you can rename the file, or delete the file. Depending on your browser, you can move a file to a different folder by dragging and dropping it to the new location. Right-clicking on a folder within the folder pane will display options for that folder. Using these options, you can rename and delete folders and upload files to the folder. You cannot rename or delete the theme or theme overrides folders that contain important information about the look and feel of your Wild Apricot site. Similarly, you cannot rename or delete the Site Albums folder which is used to store photos for photo album pages. 
Right-clicking in the middle of the file pane will display options to create new folders and to change your view. With your files uploaded to your Wild Apricot site, you can insert them into a web page, an email, or a template. As we have seen, Wild Apricot provides a number of options to help you manage your files. For more information, see Wild Apricot's online help or contact our support department. Thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful.